Hi there folks, StrayCat74 here. Welcome back to the Basement of Solitude. I've got a little bit of a different angle going on here because my usual webcam is standing on top of one of my tripods because we're going to do something a little different today. I carry an emergency butt pack in my car with me while I'm out and about and this is my get home bag. Um, I was going through it wanting to make sure that I had everything I needed and or wanted and one of the things I noticed is this doesn't have a way to carry a bedroll which is a set of straps on the, the bottom here. Which is why I set up the sleep system I did when I built this. Um, I don't have... Uh, I'm screwing this up, so, but in any case, I don't get kickbacks from Amazon when I put links in the description. So if I can find this bag again, I'll put a link for it in the description. It is way larger than I was anticipating. A um, lot more pockets and such. Uh, this is a strap off of one of my canteen bags, but as you can see, it's Molly equipped. It's got spot for the LC1 style clips, and that's how I attach some of the gear to this. But let's go through what is actually in the bag. And uh, well, let me get behind the camera and move it here. I'm not going to cut this or anything, so you'll just have to pardon with the, the herky-jerky of the camera here. I do apologize about that. I also don't have a way to zoom, but we're going to start over here with my Nesmuk Quattro, for the lack of better words. We have a moose-style knife, which has a clip point and a well, I'm not exactly sure what you would call that but this is a moose style knife that's how I bought it off of eBay or not yeah actually no this was Amazon my bad to my Nesmuk trio I added a small folding camp saw uh, almost invaluable now the Nesmuk trio has a double headed hatchet. Um, I prefer uh, a standard east wing because it's got a hammer head on it. Pardon me a moment. i got to move my some of my cables here. Now for right at the moment I've got a Calumus carnivore titanium in here. I had a um, a kukri but it's a really low quality kukri and has almost no edge whatsoever next let me see if i can get this so i can get in here a little bit i've got a standard two quart canteen and with the proper chemicals that go in there there is also a strap on here this is the strap that goes with this one uh, the strap that's on my butt pack actually goes with this. Hang on a moment. I'm getting an echo. There we go. It went to this one. Um, it's the same cover as what's on my two-quart canteen, but I've got a signaling device and emergency fire starter in that pocket. In here I have a chow kit, a mess kit, and a 65 foot spool of cord, cordage. Let me stick these back in here. These attach, or these two attached to the outside of the butt pack. In the main chamber of the butt pack, I've got four MREs, some emergency rations. This is about a day's worth of uh, food. Some um, Mountain House granola. Um, this is the milk and blueberries one. Some rice. And I don't know if you can see this very well, 
some of my SPG that I've added a couple extra things to. Um, I put red pepper flakes in here and a few other things. So, some SPG for on-the-go eating. Next, I have, since I have three pouches around the outside here and another pouch on top, the top pouch is for my first aid kit. It's a very small first aid kit, but it's better than nothing, and I've got some Tylenol. One of the outside pouches is my emergency straw, trioxane fuel bars, uh, several different ways to make fire, including, you'll see a pencil sharpener, you take a small twig, stick it in there, or a stick, stick it in there for making uh, tinder. I've got some char cloth, a spark lighter, um, ferro rod, I should say, and a pair of small containers. I've got my Strike Anywhere matches, and I believe, yes, these smell like pumpkin spice. Matter of fact, I made a video where I made these. It's a Strike Anywhere match wrapped in, it's either paper towel or toilet paper, I don't remember which, and then dipped in wax. You'll see here I've got the striker part of the matchbox these came in in a nice watertight container. I've got my tinder tube. So you hit that with a spark of damn it, why wasn't why isn't this going in? It's supposed to be a lot easier to manipulate. Ah, here it goes. You have to twist it. You hit a uh, a spark into this and that'll hang on to the spark for a long time. This is just a piece of copper tubing with a lamp wick in it that's charred on one side, and you pull it back in to protect the end. It's kind of like carrying char cloth, only it lasts a lot longer. Speaking of char cloth, I've got a container for making char cloth that's already got a, a pinhole in the top, and I've got some material for charring. Then I've got another one of these emergency buckles that has a whistle and built-in ferro rod. These things are cheap, cheesy, and crappy, but I've got a couple of them just in case. That's my fire pocket. Next I have my signaling pocket, which is actually over here a little bit. I've got a whistle that has a compass on one side and a thermometer, I had to stop and think of the word, that is in Celsius because I bought this off of eBay from China. But it's a whistle with a lanyard for signaling, small flashlight, Headlamp with two settings, very bright and way too bright. Some glow sticks. These actually last like 10 hours, and this whole pack was a dollar. They're short sticks, but they still last a really good long time, and there's 10 of them in here. Then I've got the old-fashioned classic moonbeam with a red lens in it. See, yeah, there we go. Now you can see the red. So, this is actually an aluminum bodied one. I've got more lenses in the butt cap, and it's 2D cell batteries, and it has a an LED bulb in here. So these will last a really long time. Then I have my... Hang on a second. <coughs> Pardon me. Then I have my shelter pocket, and this is uh, one of, usually one of the side pockets off the uh, off the butt pack here, where I have an emergency blanket. This is one of those ones you could have gotten for a dollar a number of years ago. A boonie cap for when it's raining, because I had a spare of those. 
a couple of these hand warmers. There's four of these in here. Each one of these will last 10 hours. I don't currently have a set of gloves with this pack, but if you're going to be out in the cold weather, you're going to be carrying gloves with you anyway. I've got more cordage. This is 100 feet of 550 cord with a carbiner. Uh, just loop through the end here. I have a rain poncho. Uh, this one's uh, PVC plastic. Um, I've got some, I've got like five or six of these. I keep one in my car. I've got another one on the shelf over there. I keep one in my butt pack. I got one in a different emergency kit. So I've got a couple of few of these. Uh, they're fairly lightweight, very easy to use. And then it comes to my sleep set. Now I'm going to have to turn the camera this way a little bit because this bag has multiple resources in it. First, we have the hammock itself. Now the hammock itself is in the pocket that it or fits in the pocket that hangs off the side of the bed. We've got some cord for attaching it to a tree. That's at the bottom. You can see some heavy-duty carbiners on line here. And then this is a very heavy-duty uh, parachute-style hammock. It's very lightweight, very strong. I made sure to buy one that was rated for 300 pounds so it wouldn't break the first time I used it. It's surprisingly comfortable, by the way. I need, to, I need to not do that just yet because we have to go through the other bag that was in here. This is actually two more items. The first is an inflatable pillow. And it's, you can see the little air thing for filling it up. And it's just velvet lined. And this is a rain fly. I'm not going to take it out. It's annoying to try and get it back in here. The rainfly comes with the cords to, to hang it up. I have a couple of different pieces of cord that I can use also to help hang it up. So rainfly, hammock, that's my sleep system. That all fits right like that. Set this closed, and that hangs off the front. Now I also have a miscellaneous pocket, or I put into miscellaneous areas where, as I can find them. I've got one of my ubiquitous red rags. <laughs> Don't worry, I have more of these, a lot more. Matter of fact, let me grab a new one over here. As you can see, this one's much darker. And I haven't blown my nose on this one, so it's clean. I also have a camouflaged, um, I believe this is 100% cotton bandana. And I got this for a dollar off of eBay or Amazon. I don't remember which. But this just folds up, stuffs in a pocket someplace. And in one of these pockets is one of these mesh bags because you can never have too much storage. You don't know what you're going to run into. You don't know how big it's going to be or how heavy it's going to be. You're probably going to need to bring along extra stuff. This will pack down fairly small. And if you need to carry extra stuff, you can. And that gives me more storage. I could almost fit all of this into this bag. But then it's all jumbled together, which is why I've got the butt pack. So, let me back up the camera here and uh, start packing this in, shall I? Actually, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Because if I stand in front of the camera, you're not going to be able to see anything. I've got an idea. I'm going to pause this for a minute, and when I come back, hopefully we'll be in a better camera angle.
and pause. And welcome back. You're currently on my bed, still on the tripod, so we're going to pack the butt pack. Now you see how I have the MRE set up opposite like this? That's how they go into the butt pack. So one faces one way, the other goes on top of it like that. This one goes this way, this one goes nose in on top of it. This gets shoved down on one side. This gets folded in half and the air squows out of it. Yes, squows is a word. Then I've got my granola here. Fine start to any day. And my emergency straw that I don't want to lose, so I put it inside the butt pack. That means it's not quite as accessible, but it also means I'm not going to lose it. Then, since the inside of the butt pack is all nice and loaded up, what we're going to do is fold this over a little bit and then roll it. click that together. Now, as I said, the first aid kit goes here in the top. I'm going to stick a couple of other items in here as well. My signaling devices. Stuff that I can use immediately. Like knowing which direction I'm going. Ah. And, of course, that one fell out, so stick it in, make sure the cord's all the way in. Zip it closed. You'll also see there's a little bit of a pocket right here. Like I said, this thing is absolutely full of pockets. So what I want to do is fire making stuff. That backs right in there. Top folds over. pull that to help hold stuff inside. That folds over. You can also use these side pockets for magazines if you wanted to carry ammunition with you. Okay. For this pocket, I'm going to put the poncho Put the emergency blanket, put these hand warmer things, then fold this over, fold the hat over a little more, and shove it in here because, well, it's a boonie cap. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the SPG in with the food. Well, miscellaneous items. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. The top of the pouch here. Let's shove all of that in. Zip that up. Because you never know when you're going to need those. And for the side pocket, I'm going to put our the rest of our signaling devices. Actually, hang on a second. Let me, let me reorganize this a little bit. There we go. And then those go in there.
so you can see how this is turning out. Now I'm going to take the moose knife and put it in this top, the top pocket in with my first aid kit. So that's there. This is going to sit in on top of the food, just in there. It will stay in place. Now the way I had this last time is I had one of these it's kind of warm in here because I don't have my my fan going fan makes noise makes it harder for you to hear me that's gonna go on like that get strapped down and then I'm gonna pull the slack out of it if I can get the slack out of it. And that'll keep that attached on one side. I'll do the same thing for this one on this side. As you can see, there's one of these Alice clips on here as well. Dang it. Got my back to the computer screen so I can't see how well this is showing up on the screen. Yank that down, pull the slack out. If it'll go, there it goes. Now I'm going to take my hatchet, lay it in the top here. That gets snugged it down. The carnivore, pass that through there. Make sure this stupid thing stays snug there. And then that'll keep that nice and secure. Now for the bedroll, and I'm going to apologize about the shaking around that's almost unavoidable. The way I had this is it was laid across the front here. These two strings that hold the two pouches were looped through there. And then it clicked in like that. And there you have it, my butt pack fully assembled. You'll notice the strap that I had turns this into quite a portable unit. So there we have it. My, whoa, hang on a second. That was not the way that was supposed to go. I do apologize about that. It was not supposed to swing around like that. So there's my butt pack. That's what I keep in the back of my car at all times. I have several other emergency kits that I carry. And one of these days, I'll make videos of them too. I had made this video several, several months ago, if not over a year ago. And I don't actually know what happened to that video. It's not on my channel anymore. But as you can see, the Basement of Solitude is more or less unchanging. If I aim it up a little bit here, you'll see my bookshelves and my movie shelves. Um, wait, no, other side, because it's in reverse. This shelf right here is all books. Um, top two shelves are my favorite authors. Below that is uh, political and uh, bushcrafting stuff. And below that is miscellaneous novels that I have read multiple times over. So, from the basement of solitude, and I apologize if it's washing out my face here. I've got a set of naked bulbs directly above me. Uh, this has been Stray Cat, and that is my butt pack video. 
Howdy folks, if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, hit the like, subscribe, the little bell icon, leave a comment in the comment section below because YouTube changed the way their uh, algorithms work and, well, if you don't comment, they won't update you when I upload new content. Don't forget, I have a Twitch, I have a Patreon, and I have a PayPal that you can donate money to me at straycat underscore 74 at yahoo.com. So, from the basement of solitude, I'll catch you next time.